Windows. 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 But are you sure you want to live here? <laughs> Just kidding. No, it's a wonderful place. Hold on a second, please. Ashton, good afternoon. How can I help you? Hello, Mr. Collins. This is Melanie, Paul's wife. Paul who, please? Apartment 4-3. There's no apartment 4-3 here. Oh, sorry. I'm a bit miscalculate. Excuse apartment me? 304. Ah, oh, Melanie. Hold on a second, please. Ashton, good afternoon. How can I help you? Oh, Mr. Collins, it's Harry here from apartment 407. Yes, Harry, it's about the special cell. I know already. I, I wanted to ask you not to let anybody in, please, for the next Hold two on hours. a second, please. Ah, stop it. Good afternoon. How can I help you? Hi, this is Steve in 604. Yes, Steve. How can I help you? Yeah, have you seen my sister going out? Your sister? Yeah, you, you know. Um, oh. you supposed to Hold on a second, that? please. Ashton, good afternoon. Hello. Hello. Don't you go? Ashton, good afternoon. How can I help you? Has she arrived yet? Good afternoon. Hold on a second, please. Good afternoon. How can I help you? We come to the book reading session. Please call me as soon as she enters. Your sister? No, the author. Hold on a second, please. Oh, Melanie, Melanie, I'm with you. Melanie, oh, she hung up. Uh, Steve, Steve, oh. Steve, she hasn't come Steve. yet. I'm home. Hold on a second, please. Ashton Bedding, good afternoon. How can I help you? Apartment 606. Uh, how, how can I help you? Hello? The book Hello? reading. Apartment 606, sixth floor. Oh. Wow, look at uh, his manner. Yes. It's yes. Still Harry here, please. Yeah, I got please. in two hours. Two hours. Okay. Oh. Um, uh, Ashton, good afternoon. How can I help you? Mr. Collins, this is Paul from apartment 304. Yes, Paul. How can I help you? What does it mean to you if I say, I love you? Excuse me? May I ask you a question? I don't quite understand. May I ask you a question? I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> So out of curiosity, when you say those words, yeah, and what exactly do they mean to you? What do you mean by what do they mean? Well, I'm curious to know what the phrase means to you. Well, the same as for anybody else, I guess. No, it's not always the same. If I said, I love this meal, it means um, the Preparation, the cooking has been done expertly and that gives me pleasure. Uh huh, so what? So if you say you love me, what exactly does that mean to you? I don't understand that. Your intelligence, somewhat. You should understand. <laughs> I'm not saying that was a good thing, you know? It depends. It can be and it can be not. Uh-huh, okay, that's everything. You just explained everything. I'm okay. trying to understand. That's all. Uh-huh, by asking unfair questions. But saying, I love you. It's not like saying, I love quesadillas. What? Oh, come on, you started talking about it, but it's not the same. Fine, so tell me what it is like. It's not like quesadilla, right? What does it mean to you, anyway? It may mean that on the list of people I've talked with and been with, your cumulative score ranks you the highest, currently. Uh-huh. That's not romantic. I was going for accuracy, not romance. It's your turn now. My turn for what? 
come on, tell me. I don't know. It's a feeling. A feeling. I don't know. Oh, a feeling, like nausea. No, it's the opposite of nausea. That's romantic. <laughs> nausea? No, the opposite. Uh huh. So there you go. There I go. There you go. So, my not feeling the opposite of what I'd like to feel means you feel that way. Yes. So by by not hating someone, does that mean you love him? Um, no. So, if you don't hate me, it doesn't mean you love me. Exactly. So I love you means something relative for you. Um, no, no, it's not. It's not what I meant. No, not at all. No, no, no. Would you kill someone for me? Kill someone? Anyone? A person? What? What person? A random person. Um, a person I have feelings for. A neutral person. But people are not neutral. I tell you. The Swiss. Um, the Swiss, the Swiss government maybe, but Swiss people are not. Look, some like fondue, some don't. Hmm? So they love quesadilla. <laughs> don't stop it up again. What do you, what do you <sighs> lie for me? For what reason? To save my life. From who? The government. Sure. And would you, would you steal for me? Mm, red, yes, not uh, diamonds. Money for surgery. Mm, to save your life, yes, but not for plastic surgery, no. You are a weird man. Uh, I'm weird. I'm weird, and you're not. I'm weird because instead of sitting quietly and not understanding the depth of what you say you feel towards me, I ask questions. In an attempt to understand it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Well, fine. What? When phrased like that. That's what it is. No. <laughs> Look, I think you're just trying to be difficult. Difficult. Yeah. I'm difficult. It is me again. Ah, uh, come on. Come on, what? Are you mad? You're mad. You are treating something that, while not super vitally important, is somewhat important to me, and you dismiss it like it's ridiculous. But I'm sorry, it is ridiculous. And that's why I'm mad. So you're mad? I wasn't before. No, a second ago. And now I am. It's called change. <laughs> Do you love me enough to let me watch sports in my underwear? Yes. In your underwear? Well, well, sure. In someone else's underwear? Okay, listen. <laughs> If you were a virtuoso violinist, would you give up everything just for me? Would you tickle someone to death just for me? Are those things you are willing to do? For those me, are just random for me? questions. They aren't tethered to anything meaningful. <laughs> no. I am trying to understand the depth of your feeling by asking. Unfair questions that have absolutely no basis in assessing anything whatsoever, and much less your feelings towards me. You Are you saying my methodology is flawed? Well, one last question. What? If you say you love me, what exactly do you mean by that? Because I'm not leaving it until it I understand. It means it. it It means I love you. I love you. I love. But what you. kind? I don't know the real kind. But if it were the fake kind, you wouldn't tell me, would you? No, I would not. Absolutely not. So how do I know if it's the real kind? Ah, well, that's the hard part, I guess. I understand. Hey. What? Listen, you know, there's nothing else I can say. I just can promise you that I love you, and it's up to you to believe it or not. I know, and I, that's why it kind of sucks. 
you know what, wait. Ah, Shobin, good afternoon. How can I help you? Mr. Collins, this is Paul from apartment 304. Yes, Paul, how can I help you? I have a question. What does it mean to you if I say, I love you? Oh, come on! Excuse me? No, no, no. I don't mean I love you. We don't love you. Excuse me? I was just having an argument. It wasn't an argument. No. I was trying to understand the depth of what yeah, you think. You were asking ridiculous questions. Breaking all the romantic moments. Hello, may I ask you a question? I don't quite understand. May I ask you a question? I wasn't talking to you. So, you don't know what it means? I came to the DVD set. Fourth floor, 407, door is open. Door is open? That's what it means to you? Door is open? I really don't get the Just point. Just stop it. It really sucks. Oh my. I am supposed to take note of all this. What time is it now? 4.07. <laughs> like the DVD sale apartment. <laughs> oh my, I should take a coffee break now. So stores closing. Sadly. So why? Sluggish sales. I see. Well, uh, private sales aren't a good business uh, anyways. Maybe. <clears throat> Seen any good movies? Saw. Ish, okay. Have you saw any good movies? Saw. The name of the movie is Saw. Saw, you say? Sure. Have you seen Saw? Sure, I saw Saw. Synopsis? Uh, slasher. Uh, Self-inflicted. Saw, then. Saw Juan. My name is not Juan. I am a lady. No, the first Saw, Saw number one. Ah, there's a Saw two? Certainly. Did you see Saw two? Japanese. Saw 2, number 2, sequel Saw 1. I haven't seen Saw 2, but Sue saw Saw 2. Sue? My sister. Your, your sister Sue? Sure, my sister Sue. Your sister Sue saw Saw 2, two. Ring, ring. Excuse me? 2, two. Ring, ring. Forget it. Ashel Bidney, good afternoon. Uh, it wasn't the phone, it's the elevator. Damn sounds of the elevator. I have to change the job. Oh my God, God the way Terrible. She talks. Annoying. Honey, yes. Do you want to sit here? Yes, yeah, sure. Go okay. ahead. All right. Shut up, it's about to start. I didn't say anything. Seriously, shut up. I'm excited. Oh, no. Oh, man. Destiny shot on. Okay, so it seems like everybody. Hello, my name is Leonard. Welcome to my home and to this exciting book club evening. It's my pleasure today to introduce our local and acclaimed author, Miss Savannah. Miss Savannah. Savannah. Vaughn. Savannah Vaughn Woodburn. Savannah has spent her last decade writing some exciting, detailed and astoundingly robust fantasy book series, all of which were self-published as e-books on her own blog, dubbed as Adequation No Effect by her own fan club. <gasps> Holy crap, that's us! She has finally agreed for her first public appearance in years. So without further ado, here to read an exciting and detailed excerpt from her newest and final entry to education, no effort, the jar with a bell in it. Please join me to give a bookmonger's welcome to Miss Savannah Vaughn. Good morning. Yes, yes, thank you. Thank you all, the two of you. It's a pleasure and a primal exaltation to be treading these literary boards. Yes, 
feel me. I am Savannah Van Savannah. Let us begin. Savannah. Savannah. It had been 73 months since the last of the male species had died out in quadrant <sighs> alpha beta. Savannah. The elders told us the extinction of the XY line would bring plentiful harvest and diplomatic harmony. But the truth was very far away. Please, please let her finish. Savannah. What is it? What couldn't wait for Narnia the she in Ven's backstory? I, I, I'm sorry, it's just that we, um, I, I wanted to, oh man, I'm shaking. <gasps> Excited! Oh no! Oh my God! Book seven. How oh, the color of magenta changed my life. Understandable. Uh, um, Savannah, Miss uh, Von Woodburn, uh, uh, my friend and I, we wrote um, a play set within the uh, adaptation universe. And we dedicated it to you. Oh my God. Okay, ladies, we will have a Q&A session at the end. Honestly, I'm flattered. Yet, still remain mildly insulted over your flagrant disregard for my emphatic reading. <gasps> She's mad! No, please, don't be mad. Don't be Can mad, Can we please? take it down a notch, please? We waited in line for three days. We haven't eaten! But there was no light. Oh, press, sir. But really? Then I think it's time no, to leave. No, Come on, no, both no, of you. No, Come no, on. No, 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 Stop, no. my Leonard, stop. They obviously hold me in high esteem, as they should. Allow them to present their arcane drama, if for nothing else, than for my own amusement. Hello. Yes, Leonard's book club. Mr. Book club, everything's okay? Yes. Why? Because they are... Neighbors complaining about noises and screams. I see. You see them and you hear them <sighs> too. No, I mean, don't worry. Everything is un under please. Under please? No, I mean, don't worry. Everything is fine. <laughs> well, you don't have to yell at me. I'm doing my job. 504 book yelling while shouting about screaming. What a job. So, Sue saw, saw too. Sue saw, see. Pardon? Uh, see, it's yes in Spanish. So is in Spanish. No. no. Did she like it? She said so, so. Sue said so, so. So, so, see. But she always does. We call her Sue, so, so. Shame. Starry Land and Night. Shame, not Shane. Sorry, I haven't seen it. Seen what? Shame. Oh, shame about Sue. Sue? Saying always so, so. Oh, Sela V. So? Seen Saw 6? Yes, I saw 6. Certainly. Have you seen Saw 6? I see Saw 6 soon. Psst. Sally's seen Saw 6. Sally? Sue's sister. Sue's sister. Sure. Isn't Sue's sister your sister as well? To cut a long story short. Yes. She is. So, your sisters saw, saw two and six together, it's eight. There's no saw eight. Too much. Only till six. Six in the city. Seven. Pardon? Six. And the city is seven. There's only one and it's a TV series. Six? Six! Six sucks! Six sucks! Not in my case! Swine! Well, you don't have to yell at me, I'm doing my job. 504 book yelling while shouting about screaming. What a job. Hello? Hello? I just wanted to tell her that everything is Allow fine. Allow them, my Leonard. Every tree bringeth forth the fruit. Let the play begin. But I don't think that's a good idea.
Tisai, Velvet Sasa, the misunderstood villain from book five, The Ethical Hesse. I've returned from space prison to exact vengeance. You're no match for Keisha Thorax, protector of the harem, champion of the widows. Your censorship and pro-patriarchy views will spell your downfall, Velvet Salsa. But all I ever wanted was to be loved. Oh. We can coexist peacefully. Yes, we can. And well, what do you think? I think it would make a great companion piece to the middle series books four through six. Don't you think? Yeah. <gasps> really? Really, my fans, I am a good source of inspiration. Oh, Savannah. Someone like give me some water. What? Wait, for it happens all the time. People pass out at my site. They will react in a couple of minutes. What if they don't? I do not have Never insurance for such. play with fate, my minutes. Prepare me a coffee and allow me to hold the reins of this whirlpool of emotion. She is marvelous. <laughs> Suggestions? Separate lies. Schwarzenhager. Susan Sarandon. Sweet. Sharon Stone. Shook shoes. Sarah Silverman. Sassy. Stan and Skarsgård. Say what? Uh, Swedish. Uh, Shepherd. Sybil. Sam. Spade. Sylvester Stallone. Sissy. Stallone as Sissy. Sissy Spassic. Uh, Schindler's. List. Stephen. Spielberg. Stephen. Eight. What? Stephen eight. It has no T. A? What? Eight without T is A? I mean seven. Stephen without T is seven. No, it's five. What? Stephen, if you drop the T, has five letters. Five! Both are prime numbers. Excellent movie. Both? Prime or numbers? Prime. Excellent movie. I didn't like it. Why? Too fluffy. Mm -hmm. I like hard movies. Seen any good movies? Sure. Oosh, okay. Have you saw any good movies? Let me hold the reins. Suffer, little fans, and forbid them not to come to my pen. I suffer, and not them. Fans of mine, enough. Stand up and sit down and hear in my voice the words of the jar. No doubt she is marvelous. I would pass out a hundred times if she would only speak to me like this again. Oh, you are unique. Oh. Please, please go, go on. on. Read the bell with a jar in it. It's the opposite. You mean the it with a jar in it? No, I mean, please pay attention. It had been 73 months since the last of the male species had died out in quadrant alpha beta. What an artist! She writes elliptically. She begins with an idea and ends with it again. I'm trying to read again. Please let her continue. Please, Samana, do not pay attention to them. You just continue as if they were not here. It had been 73 months. You are unique. I'm just trying to read. Please let her finish. You will have time at the end, I promise. Do not interrupt me again. Please, please, go, go on. on, read. Read. Convince us. Enchant us. Teach us. Teach them. Since the last of the male species had died out 
in quadrants alpha beta. The elders told us the extinction of the XY line. She's repetitive, don't you think? It's her art! She ellipses! <laughs> the elders told us the extinction of the XY line would bring plentiful harvest and diplomatic harmony. I think I've heard that somewhere else. Do you think she's copying from someone else? It happens to the greatest. Maybe she's copying all her things from someone else. You are interrupting me. Oh, could you please shut up once and for all? You are interrupting me too. Oh, Savannah, I was just trying to help you. Whoever helps the guilty shares the crime. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, she's copying. I've seen that quote on Facebook. I knew it. Too good to be true. And I share the crime? It's just a You're a fraud, man. Yeah, it's very offensive. You are all ruining everything. This was supposed to be a cultural fire. So why don't you do something? I tried everything, but you said I am a criminal. What the hell are you talking about? Yes, yes, you said. You said that I was a criminal. You knew that I was on rehabilitation, but you wanted to tell me to everybody. I knew nothing <gasps> of that. Sure, sure, you plagiarize. You ruin rehab. You are a fraud. But Keisha Thorax will avenge the poor. And Velvet Sasa will quench her thirsty sword. Get out of here, you freaks. Uh, Mr. Book Club. Mr. Book Club. Oh, whatever. Let's see if the game has already begun. So, the Niners are winning again? Huh? So who's playing? You interested in sports all of a sudden? Well, I thought I would just ask who's playing. Damn it! Offsides, we... So, so I, I, I registered at the museum for this really cool art class, and yeah, it looks really cool. Yeah, you're really into that, aren't you? <laughs> at the course, it looks so captivating, and you know how much I like that kind of Eve, stuff. Eve. This is a playoff game, so if you don't Ooh, mind. Sorry. Uh, Steve? Mm hmm. Steve, I, I, um, I, I just thought I'd tell you, I, I just thought I'd tell you th that I like you. What? I, I just thought I'd tell you that I like you. Oh, well, you're my sister. Well, it's not obvious, you know. Mm-hmm. Well, so I thought it was important and to tell, to tell you. Tell me what? That I like you. Huh? What the fuck happened? What, what, what do you mean? What's the story? What's this all about? Is it the car again? Did you crash the car again? No. Look me in the eyes. You tell me the truth. I don't even drive the thing. Why should I believe you? Oh, Steve, come on. I'm your sister. How could I? Okay. Let's talk. Lay it on the table. As your psychiatrist says, let's see what pieces we have to pieces? work. Pieces? None. Oh, this is a uh -huh. joke, Quit right? stalling. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> huh? Are you on drugs again? Steve, I, I haven't even had a cigarette in three years. Speed again. I, 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 that's in the past. I, I'm, I'm totally clean. Ah, you need money again. I haven't asked for anything. Oh, no, but you're about to. <sighs> Look. Here's 150, okay? That's all I've got. Pay your bail. I'm not going to ask you any more questions. It's your life. Fuck it up if you want to.
You're still here. Pits and pieces, yeah. Look, Eve, when people make mistakes, they have to deal with the consequences, no matter how ugly the consequences are. Like, like mom and dad, when you were born, for example. What did they do? They dealt with the consequences. What consequences are you talking about? Never, you know what, never mind. Forget it. It's like, you're like an eternal teenager. Always getting into trouble and coming to your little brother to bail you out. Cars, mm. drugs, a bit of kleptomania. That's in the past. Ah, then there was the, the guru and the cult. Well, I was confused. I was in search of my own self. <laughs> and you didn't find your own self and you lost up my own oh, self. Oh, now you're just being judgmental. Don't even let me tell jokes anymore. Well, you never tell jokes. Not funny. You never think they're funny. <laughs> What's all this business about jokes? Like, like I, I just wanted to tell you. Tell me what? 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 I just wanted to tell you that I like you, Steve. That's all there is? That's all there is. There's nothing else. No, not that I can think of. Car? The car's fine. Drugs? No drugs. Guru cult? Nope. Oh, well, I, I like you too. <laughs> Gee, thanks. I mean, you're a bit of a pain in the ass now and then, but... It doesn't mean I don't like you. Okay. I just cut the demo for I'm having an affair. Do you care? Do I care if you cut the demo or do I care if you're having an affair? That's the name of the song. I'm having an affair. Do you care? When did you write that? Thursday. This past Thursday? Yes, why? The night you selected the studio? Don't say it like that. Like what? Like it's in quotes. I slept at the studio, not slept at the studio. You know, you're awfully defensive. You are awfully accusatory. <laughs> Do I have reason to be accusatory? That question is accusatory. Mm, that statement is defensive. Do you have reason to be defensive? Yes, because I'm being accused. Are you having an affair? Yes, but that's not the point. The point is you've unfairly accused me. And I don't tolerate that. You're having an affair and the accusation, the accusation of the truth is unfair? Exactly. But you just stood there and lied to me. It's that exact tone I'm objecting to. You did sleep at the studio in course, didn't you? No, I slept at the studio. You're sleeping with another man? Yes, but not this past Thursday. Ah. I don't deserve this ah. treatment. I think you owe me an apology. You adulterated all over me. It was work. I need inspiration for my music. So now it's my fault if your Do Me or Lose Me only sold half a million of copies. You stopped doing me. Because you stopped wanting me. Well, you started accusing. Uh, you started being defensive all the time. It was a defense mechanism. Yeah. What do you think the accusations were anyway? You don't love me anymore. No, I do. It's you who don't love me anymore. No, I do. But just because I love you doesn't mean I have to take this. And just because I love you doesn't mean that I have to take it either. Good. So, so hear the demo of the song. Uh-huh, you're changing the subject. No, okay. I'm not. You were talk we were talking about the affair, not about the song. The song is about an affair. Mm. 
You have a point. I always have a point. I know. That's why I love you. What do you mean by I love you? It's again like quesadilla? <laughs> I love quesadilla, you know. But I love you. I love you too. Okay, play that song for me. Je m'en fous. J'ai pas besoin de so, toi. A Jew, a Christian, and a Muslim walk into a bar. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. What? Well, it's not funny. I haven't done the joke yet. We well, don't have to do the joke because there's like nothing funny about a Jew and a Muslim and a Christian walking into any place, much less a bar. Just, just, just try something else. Okay, um, <laughs> a lesbian and a tattooed molester. No, stop, and the stop, 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 stop. Uh -uh. And the lesbian. What's wrong with a lesbian and a tattooed millennial? You know, you know, you don't even know where I'm going. With this. I don't have to know where you're going with this because, like, if it's about a lesbian, there's nothing funny about a lesbian. And the millennials, they just worry about their tattoos, and and and, and you got to stop writing jokes about going to a bar because like, there's nothing funny about a bar. But all kinds of people go to bars. It's a great place to put people together from different backgrounds. Well, yeah, maybe in real life, but not in jokes. Like just, just, just put them somewhere else other than a okay, bar. Okay. Um, two guys are sitting on a park bench. Much better. Mm. And one guy says to the other guy, "Do you?" Well, wait, wait. Are they? Uh, are they gay or straight? Straight. Oh god, are they Christian, Muslim? They're atheists. Oh, even better. Okay, this is going to be funny. I, I, I feel it now. Yeah, go, go on. Okay. Two straight atheists are sitting on a park bench. Whoa, uh, not a playground park, is it? What difference does it make? Are you nuts? Two straight guys at a playground park? Well, well, people might think they're pedophiles and there's like nothing funny about pedophiles. All right, all right, all right. Uh, two straight atheists are sitting on a park bench near a winding path with no children in sight. Good, good, go on. Yeah. And, and one guy says to the other guy... Oh uh, my God, you, um, are they black or white? They're white. Two blindingly white guys who only like women and don't believe in God, who would never think about messing with a kid or going anywhere near a playground or sitting on a park bench trying to make a fucking joke. Whoa, 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 whoa. You, you, you can't say fuck. Since when? Well, it's not funny anymore, I, I think. I think, I don't know, about a year ago, it's, it's misogynistic or something. I don't know, just don't say it. What's the matter? Go, go on, make the joke. No, 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 it's gone. It's over. Oh, don't be like that. Just, you're getting all stiff and, and, and just tightened up. Just kind of like loosen up and, and then don't overthink it. Okay. Here's a different one, though. A bonehead comedian meets a politically correct asshole for a glass of wine. <laughs> You're getting the hang of it now. I think this is going to be a good setup. You think? <laughs> well, assholes are the funniest people in the world. <laughs> <laughs>